Hello and welcome to an episode of Spatial Data Discovery. Today we're going to be looking at how to get Git and clone the class repository on Windows. If you go to our course website, spatialdatadiscovery.github.io, and come up to the Resources tab and come down to the Software link, you'll see that there is an option for Git for Windows. And if we take a look at Git for Windows, we'll see that the latest version is version 2.28 as of recording which is August 20th 2020 so to get git for windows we'll just scroll down to find the one for our computer so we have 32 bit 64 bit so this is a 64 bit windows machine if you're not sure what bitness your computer is you can always go and right click on this PC and go to properties and see if your system is a 64 bit and then download the appropriate version I'll save this to my downloads and open the executable. Take a look at the public license. Install on your C drive. And make sure that you've checked the options that you want for your installation. For those of you who are familiar with the Vim text editor, I suggest you use it. Otherwise, I'm going to change mine to Nano. I'm more familiar with Nano. I'm going to choose the recommended method. Happy with the certificates. Recommend to use the Windows style checkout, but Unix style commit. Happy to use the MinTTY. Happy to use the default. Credential manager is good. So is file system caching. Skip the experimental support. and complete the setup wizard. All right, I want to make sure that the installation works, so I'm going to go down to the Windows and search for the command prompt. And the hope is that git is installed, so we type in git dash dash version, and we see that git version 2.28 is installed. Okay. Next up is to make sure that we add our newly installed software into our change log. And it's a good idea to also save this, the link that you used for getting it. All right, now that we have Git installed, we want to get our repository. So back to Spatial Data Discovery website. And if you click the GitHub icon in the top right hand corner, it will take you to the GitHub site. Now, the repository that lives on the remote server, we want to get a 
working copy or a local copy onto our computer. So first we need a place to put it. So I'm gonna come into my C workspace folder and I'm gonna create a new folder called repositories. And here I'm gonna create a new folder for spatial data discovery. And then in here, I want a copy of my spatial data discovery uh, repo. So here's where I wanna clone it. I come back to my command prompt and presently I am in my users folder and I wanna get into this folder. So I will cd c colon backslash workspace repositories sdd and if I type in dr we'll see that there's nothing inside here right now all right how to get my repository here well they give us this big green button called code and they give us the URL for copying the clone of our repository. So click the copy button, come back down here, and unfortunately they don't give you the command, so you need to still remember to type in git clone, and then you can just right click to paste in Windows, or you'd have to type all of this out. So git clone and the URL they give you, click enter, and we should clone our own local copy of the repository. So in the folder, we see that there is now a folder here. And in the command prompt, we see that we have the directory here. So to cd into the spatial data discovery.github.io, and we type in dir, we see all of the many, many folders that make up the website that make up our um, course website. And in here, you'll see that there are all of the files in here as well. So navigating on the command prompt and navigating on the file explorer shows sort of the same information. And that's how we clone our repository to our local computer. And you follow the same steps for cloning our semester repository. But before we leave, there are two things we want to make sure that we have. So we type in git config user.name and we see that there is no name. And we type in git config user.email and we see that there's no email. We want to put our email and our username in here so that we can log in from the command prompt to the repository. So once you do that, you will type in git config user.name, and for mine it's DT Woods. And then All right, once you have those both placed in, you'll be able to then make changes and push to the repository. You may also want to do a git config push.default as simple. Okay, those are the steps for cloning the repository onto your local machine. All right. I'll see you next episode.